Okay, now sometimes what we'll do is that we'll take a sample and base one of those samples out. For example, hit the first sample. That sounds good. Hit that sample based out. Do you hear how deep that is? You hear, still, you still hear some bass in there, but it's still in the sound. Then we'll move it with the beat. I put the beat on now. Back to here. Now, the cool thing there is if you're going to mix it, you can run it through an EQ later on in the mixing system and actually get that sound to be really based out. Now, what we can actually do sometimes too, as we'll see here on the screen, move this camera back a little bit, we can see here, we're going to to um, program right here. And we have the sample right there. See that? And what I also can do here is I can also assign that sample to trigger another sample at the same time. Check this out. Now as we can see we have this beat C. Now we're in a zone. Now MPCs are famous for this. You can actually trigger several samples at once. In this MPC 4000, it's four. And the same in the 3000. I can move down here, move the cursor down here, and then pick the sample I want to zone out. I'm going to pick the beat I have here. This one here. Now watch. I'm actually triggering both those samples at the same time. When this one hits, the other sample hits. I can even put a, a high out of something there, or even another sound. Let's say, let's put like a, a some sort of sound in there, maybe. A horn. So you can hear that horn, and all the effects happen at the same time, those same sounds. Now watch this. We'll go back to the program, turn the sound a little bit. So you keep adding sounds into this section here, and the same effects that you have will also affect those other sample sounds that are in there. And this is known as zoning. You can have several samples in one zone. 